Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elvis Hamala. This is uh, the water treatment uh, group water treatment manager, and we are here at the DNS lab today. I'm here with uh, our group analyst Rachel and uh, her assistant Steve, and this is where we normally conduct your water analysis uh, for the entire group. So basically, the reason we are here today is, um, as um, you may have read in the memo, we are doing a disinfection exercise uh, as a control measure for um, the spread of corona in the, in the company. And what we've been doing, for those in the head office, I'm sure you've seen guys coming around to spray on, you, uh, on the surfaces uh, maybe every hour. And this is where we're mixing the chemicals. So what we're using now for this is uh, chlorine. And we're using chlorine 65 for this exercise. And we'd like to show you how you can implement these measures at your branches, subsidiaries, so that you're also um, safe against uh, the, the spread of coronavirus. So this is purely disinfection for surfaces, floors, uh, desks, and not um, for use for washing hands. Uh, so yeah, basically, I'll take you through the demonstration of how to prepare the chemical and then you can do this at your own uh, branches and uh, make sure that um, you disinfect all your surfaces. So before you start this exercise, uh, it's very important to protect yourself. Uh, we're using uh, the main things that we're using. You need chlorine. So this, of course, uh, we have the daily chlorine. Chlorine 65, okay. And then you need a teaspoon to uh, collect the chlorine. And then we need um, a, back, a bucket, so in head, head office, because of the quantities, we're using a 100 litre tank, but in the branches you can use a 20 litre bucket, and you need something to stir once you mix the, the chlorine with the water, all right? And then protective gear, make sure you have gloves and you have a um, mask. So basically, this mask can be used, the basic masks, masks that are available. All right, so uh, once you have your chlorine and you have your 20 litre bucket um, and your starra, what you need to do is, um, so you need to uh, use your tablespoon to fetch some chlorine. So of course in the lab we have some equipment that we can use to measure, but at the branch level, all you need to do is make sure that you take a, t uh, a teaspoon and you measure about, um, so this, this much, this is, this is about one gram, okay? So one gram will mix into a 20 litre, uh, 20 litre bucket. That gives you a concentration of uh, uh, 50 ppm or 50 milligrams per liter, which is what we're using for disinfection purposes. So if, say, you have um, 60 liters and this is too much to measure, too, too little to measure, what you can do is uh, you can fetch... Um, so what you can do is you can fetch... Fetch on the tablespoon and make sure it fills it flat. So this will give you about three grams, and this will mix into 60 liters. So if you can measure this, this will give you one gram into 20 liters. Spoon, tablespoon, and have it flat, three grams, this goes into 60 liters. So it's the same concentration, okay? Then once you do that, you will mix this. You will take your, so we already have our solution that we prepared in the morning, but what we'll do is you have your chlorine, you mix it into your bucket, so either 20 liters or 60 liters, whatever you want, and then you take a stirrer and stir for about three minutes. Okay? So once you stir for about three minutes, and then your chemical should be ready for use. So what we're using in the head office is obviously the spray guns. So you can pour the chemical into the spray guns, and what you want to do is use the spray gun on the surface with a cloth. So we're doing that every hour in the head office and we encourage you to follow the same um, routine in the branches and the subsidiaries. Oh yeah, so um, the other, the other uh, thing is make sure that uh, the, 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 the bucket that you use has a cover so that you want to cover your chlorine because if it's open, um, you're losing some potency and also store the chlorine solution indoors because if you have it outside exposed to light then it weakens over time. We also encourage you to prepare every fresh solution in the morning so that you make sure that the chlorine you're using on that particular day has the potency that is required, meaning it's uh, strong enough uh, to disinfect the surfaces that where you're using it on. So yeah, two, uh, three key things, keep the solution indoors, 
um, keep it covered and prepare a fresh solution every morning. So please note um, this solution that we are preparing is mainly to be used, is only to be used on surfaces actually uh, for cleaning your, washing your hands and any other um, needs, please follow the WHO guidelines. So soap and water for hands, but this is primarily for your surfaces. So you can use it to wash your floors, clean your surfaces um, and nothing else. Uh, in terms of um, any, if you have any queries, please feel free to contact us in the water treatment department. And also, uh, with this video, we'll give a description of um, the procedures, so please feel free to consult that as well.